Well, it seems like all these Spider-Man 4 rumors keep getting bigger every single day. We got a full-on Q&A session earlier today from the Cosmic Circus, and boy did they dive into a lot of new details on Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland's Venom 3, and Spider-Man 4. So let's just take a couple minutes to talk about some of the highlights, what the team over at the circus had to say, and why it seems like Marvel and Sony have huge plans for the wall crawler going forward. Now, as many of you know, there is a lot of news surrounding Sony and Marvel's upcoming plans for Spider-Man 4. And honestly, fans are right here for it. Now, earlier today, the team over at the Cosmic Circus did their monthly Q&A, where they answered a lot of fan questions, and there were a lot of Spider-Man questions. Now, I want to be very, very clear, so we're not misrepresenting any of this information. This is from the Cosmic Circus, and a lot of it directly from Alex Perez. The team over at the circus does a phenomenal job, they stand by their stories, and they'll even admit when they're wrong. So I feel like it's a pretty solid source, but we always want to put a little flag and make sure you take it with a grain of salt, because it's not from Kevin Feige, Sony or Marvel Studios, or even Tom Holland, so none of it is actually official. Now within this Q&A, they dropped a bunch of news, so we're going to try to work our way through most of the details. Probably the biggest bit of news relates to plans for potentially Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield to return to the next film. And according to Perez, and I quote, there is a very strong possibility they show up for an extended role this time around. This suggests to me we could be seeing a lot of them in Spider-Man 4, and absolutely makes me wonder about the battle world possibilities since this movie does come after Doomsday. Now, as for Tom Holland's Peter Parker, they reported, quote, he will get the symbiote suit in the next few years and may keep it for a couple of Spider films. Now, this makes a lot of sense with Secret Wars fast approaching, and all signs seem to point to him getting the alien costume at some point in the near future, even potentially crossing paths with Tom Hardy's Venom in the next solo outing. Now, however, despite a team-up potentially being planned for Spider-Man 4, the team at the circus, though, did confirm that Tom Holland does not appear in Venom The Last Dance, and this includes any mid- or post credit scenes. So many of those reports that you're hearing about the web slinger being part of this are likely false. Now, Perez also claims, and I quote, With each passing day, Spider-Man 4 becomes more and more multiverse than street level. And at this point, I dare say it's leaning slightly cosmic than street. This suggests to me the door may have closed on Daredevil being part of the film, or at least being a big part of the film. We very well could open with a small team-up scene, but it sounds like to me the larger story for Spider-Man is definitely involving a lot of these multiverse elements, something Sony wanted, so I think Marvel's gonna have to shelve those particular questions until after Secret Wars, which might not be a bad idea after the MCU kinda gets a soft reboot, and even potentially have Daredevil show up in Spider-Man 5 after the second season of Born Again. Now, Prez also went on to say that Black Cat is not set to appear in the movie, that Null will wield his all-black sword despite what we saw in Thor Love and Thunder, and that Spider-Man and Venom will more than likely be battling more symbiotes, suggesting the fourth Spider-Man film and its rumored title, King in Black, which I don't believe, by the way. Well, it will focus on the character of Null and see the big showdown and team up so many fans have wanted to see for a long time. Now, to me, there is no bigger character really in the Marvel Universe than Spider-Man, and I actually think Marvel is kind of catering a little bit to Sony here to keep the relationship strong. Fans were super clear we wanted a street-level adventure, so even if it's really great that Toby, Andrew, and even Tom Hardy could be showing up in the next film, I think many of us were definitely leaning towards Charlie Cox and Daredevil teaming up with Spidey to face off with Wilson Fisk, a little more grounded, and it seems like we're going to have to wait for Spider-Man 5 for that one. Now, Spider-Man 4 does already have Destin Daniel Creighton set to direct, with No Way Home scribes Chris McKenna and Eric Summers returning to write the script. We even got teased this past weekend by Simi Liu, who was prepping up his MCU body, and that also led to rumors of him potentially being in this film, although after the Perez report and all these other guest characters, I really don't think there's a lot of room for Sean, and suspect he won't show up until Doomsday. Obviously, we're following all the Spider-Man news. The film is set to drop on July 24, 2026, so we have a long time. And I really think, like with many of these stories, it's going to evolve over the next couple of years, and we'll ultimately find several of these details turn out to be true, and many others will either get scrapped or evolve into something else. What the movie ultimately looks like, well, we're going to have to wait and see.
Don't forget, we're always trying to grow to this channel, so if you like this video, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button, and ring that bell for all the updates. Make sure you select all updates if you want to see all the new videos in your feed. We appreciate all the support.